What up? I'm Josh Paulison, and welcome to Your Story Now. So let's look at how we can actually make our characters more of who we want them to be. One of the issues that we ran across is that our main character is very flat right now. Okay, they can be influenced and they want to prove themselves. Wow, this character is so unique and special. No, they're not. So let's go with, for example, the adjective technique. Here's why the adjective technique can be really cool. We can start to consider things that we wouldn't normally tie into our character. So we're going to start with adjectives. So let's look at a few. So if I'm getting stuck and I'm not really coming up with anything, this is where it can be helpful to go, okay, well, you know what? I just need like an adjective list or you could even go with a personality trait list. And we could go, okay, well, we want adjectives. Here's some good ones. What are some of these? Okay, we've got accessible, active, adaptable, admirable. So these are all this, these are considered positive traits. Um, I, I guess I, I've never looked at this list before, but you could use this and you could just go, okay, what's an adjective that I want to choose? I want to choose crass. Okay, so I want to choose crass. I'm going to decide that I want a, a social. I'm going to go with artificial. Okay, these are apparently the yeah negative traits. <laughs> what if I want to go with an experimental type person or familial? roll and we could keep going from here but I'm just gonna stop there so what we can do is that we can start brainstorming well what if our character had these traits what if our character was crass and this gives us a place to go okay well what would that do for our character they could be very crass towards themselves they could be crass towards other people what would be required for that well could be that they find humor in things other people just Field is wrong to talk about even. And maybe they speak their mind. Or they don't care what other people are comfortable with. We have a lot of different opportunities here. But just looking at the different list of adjectives, we can go, okay, well, do I want my character to have that? And then we can apply that to them. Now we could also take that and we could apply it to something else and just see where it goes. So let's go back over here and I'm going to expand this image size. So let's look at adding crass to feeling like a failure. If we add these two together, we could go, well, um, okay. How would they feel like a failure of being crass? Crass at, the, crass at a time that isn't considered good. So it could be that they are crass at themselves. It could be that they are crass to co-workers. And it could be even that this is what inspires the villain in the first place to deride them, to berate them. Maybe they berated them for something reasonable. You're such a jerk to everybody. <laughs> like, why would you do that? And it doesn't mean that the villain isn't bad or isn't coming against the hero in perhaps an inappropriate way, but perhaps the hero is being more inappropriate and the villain was actually in the right here. We could have that. So it could be that berating them, and we could add to this. We could say berating them for being crass. <laughs> we can just be broad like that if we want. And what we have here now is that we have opportunities to attach different ideas about characters to different events and brainstorm how could this inspire this. We talked about brainstorming with events earlier, so let's see, okay, villain comes against them, berating them for being crass. It could be that the main character just making this worse makes an even worse joke, and then it just ends up, you know, snowballing until eventually the main character tries to prove themselves by taming a hostile dragon because the main character is trying to prove, hey, you know what, I do take things seriously and I'm good at this, and the villain's just like, you don't even care. You, you don't have anything that you're like really caring about or trying to make a difference in. So it could be that then the main character feels like they have to show they care. So we're coming up with different ideas from taking an adjective, applying it to the character, and moving with that. And there's different ways you could apply this, and we're kind of running forward on this idea. You could spend more time looking at, well, I don't want them to be crass. Maybe the villain you want to be crass instead. You have a lot of different opportunities. This is all about coming up with different ways to develop your story and picking the ones that you like. So applying adjectives to ideas and also to events can be a really good way to help move your story forward and figure out fun ways to develop it.